Yeah, water, it's good for you. Hello, my name is Codemaster Jamal and I'm an indie game developer. I'm currently working on an open world monster collecting game called Virtual Monsters. If you like video games like this and you would like to see more from my project, please feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Virtual Monsters content. Today, I'm going to spend time talking about a topic, or at least an issue, that affects most game developers. And that topic is Asset Thieves. What an asset thief is, is basically a person that will pose as usually a coder, but they can also be graphic artists or sometimes even musicians. And they will claim that they will help you out with your game, at least assist you in building your game, only so that you can send them your assets, which is basically all the code that you've written, all the graphics, all the music and stuff like that that you've made for your game. So they can basically use your assets in their game or another company's game or just keep your assets just for the sake of being a creep and basically you'll never hear from them again afterwards now this has happened to me before back when i was about 14 years old and as you guys may know if you watch this channel and if you don't watch this channel i'm just going to tell you anyway i used to build video games with the beyond game engine granted i was a kid back then so i really didn't know any better because this is the first time it ever happened to me it's the only time that ever happened to me now i really think about it what ended up happening was that i was building like this kind of like Mega Man open world game i have a i'm really big on open world games that's the reason why i'm building virtual monsters and i was building this kind of like Mega Man open world game where you can build your own custom navi and you can walk around and fight other players and Stuff like that you can you know collect battle chips and it was gonna be a really cool adventure uh i might touch up on it later in life but basically i was having a hard time creating a mega buster because i didn't know anything about like physics or at least uh like raycast and things like that things that, that help you push objects away from each other and stuff like that the point being is that I was having a hard time with that. And what ended up happening was I, I made a post on the Beyond forums and someone responded and they were like, yeah, you know, I see that you're having a hard time with your game. And um, since you don't know how to code, send me your code. Once again, I was 14 years old. <laughs> I didn't know any better. I ended up working on the game more after this happened to me and the game progressed so much further than what I uh, initially sent to him. Initially what I sent to him, it didn't really have much of the game. It may have had one or two sprites and a lot of the sprites that I was using was just pretty much pixel art you can find on the web. So not too much of it outside of a character sprite was really taken from me and that person didn't get a chance to get the other character sprites that I made for the game. Essentially they didn't really make off with anything. Thing, but still I sent them my files and that was the last time I ever heard of them be aware of these type of people so what you really have to understand about asset thieves is that once they make off with your stuff there's pretty much nothing you can do to get your stuff back now I know there are some cases where people wish to hire people online or outsource some of the work of their game with another developer. If you do plan on having someone work on your game, here's what you do. Never share your assets with anyone until you do this. Get them to sign an NDA. What an NDA is, is a non-disclosure agreement. And what the contract needs to include is what the person you are contracting for work on your game can and cannot do with your assets. Because in the account that they actually do rip off one of your assets, or sell one of your ideas to another company, you can hold them accountable in court. In regards to asset thieves, just be aware that there are a lot of sketchy people out there and not everyone can be trusted. Well, I guess this will be it for now. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like on the video as it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And make sure to share this video if you think other people may find it useful. Keep making games. Till next time, this is Codemaster Jamal and I'm signing out.